Despite the unfortunate attacks on our personnel by political hoodlums during the last election, the armed forces of Nigeria, as a professional and reputable institution, wishes to reassure the public that no reprisal attack will be carried out by any military personnel, unit, or formation. We assure all Nigerians that in tandem with our mandate, we will continue to complement and support the efforts of the Nigerian police, which is the lead security agency in ensuring that all law-abiding citizens of this nation and members of the international community go about their legitimate duties and obligations in an environment devoid of violence and insecurity. The Defense Headquarters wishes to use the opportunity provided by this press briefing to reiterate that the role of the armed forces of Nigeria in the ongoing elections is to support the Nigeria police in ensuring that Nigerians are able to perform their civic obligations in a peaceful and secured environment. Let me also add that this role is enshrined in section 217 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, which stipulates that the armed forces of Nigeria could be deployed to assist the Nigerian police in the maintenance of law and order during elections. In carrying out this onerous task, the armed forces of Nigeria is guided by the code of conduct and rules of engagement that have been provided for military personnel deployed to maintain security during elections. It is crucial to re-emphasize the directive of the Chief of Defense Staff, General Abayomi Gabriel Olonisaki, that while military personnel have the right to perform their civic duty of voting as provided in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, they must approach their polling units in civilian clothing, or mufti, if you like, devoid of any military accoutrements. Additionally, any military personnel who is not on election security duty found in military uniform on election day will be arrested and sanctioned in accordance with the military justice system. Likewise, all military commanders have been tasked to ensure that sanity prevails in their respective areas of responsibility. These assigned tasks include the arrest of anyone in military uniform who is not on election security duty on the election day. Similarly, any civilian caught in military uniform will be treated as an imposter. Thank <laughs> you.